Hello, I'm Yohan Fouché, I'm product director at Micro MoSI, and today I'm going to tell you about the two catalysts, uh, TMF catalysts to which Micro MoSI participated today around the theme of 5G in order to connect the Tour de France. The first of them I'm going to be presenting right now, it's on 5G, intelligent service planning and optimization. The scene was around the Tour de France, as we can see there, so the Tour de France is a, is a massive competition. There is a lot of spectators on the side of the road. Being able to screen and record the broadcast is, a, is difficult. The terrains are not always accessible and connectivity is not always there. 5G technology is actually an enabler, allowing to provide a number of uh, connectivity capabilities for a number of applications around the race. First, we can see that we can use 5G connectivity in order to broadcast uh, the video, video recording from different drones or cameras using 5G connectivity. Dedicated network slice on 5G allow to reduce, uh, to, to, to commit certain set of resources for the 5G uh, broadcasting. Spectators on the side of the road would be consuming information coming from the video broadcast. Telemetry data could also be consumed coming from the back of the, of the saddles of the, of the riders where sensors would be collecting a set of information. In this catalyst, we concentrate on the video broadcasting slice. Here's the architecture of the catalyst. We can see that we had a digital service enablement platform on the top providing IoT information about the video quality. We had a service orchestrator allowing to automate the network design on the network fulfillment. And we had Micom OSI providing closed loop assurance in order to proactively monitor quality of the video or the network, uh, the network itself. And uh, if need be, initiate some actions towards the orchestrator in order to resolve any, uh, any, any problems. We covered uh, five use cases in the catalyst. And we're going to concentrate here in this short demo around the reactive and the proactive closed loop where Micom OSI proactively monitoring the QoS as I was mentioning on the digital services on the network slices themselves was able to, uh, through the set of the EA products, was able to not only identify the various issues but also automate the root cause analysis and initiate some repair actions in order to remediate automatically any problems occurring in the network. Okay, so we are now looking at the EA service designer where we consume Tosca templates coming from the service orchestrator. Where the definition of the network slices and the use of their different VNF across the network can be translated into an hierarchical model which we use for KPI aggregations or impacting of, uh, of service alarms. Various characteristics are also loaded. And from there we start initiating the monitoring of various um, KPIs using TMF628 uh, API in order to, to subscribe to specific performance uh, data collections. Proactively monitoring the different uh, QoS uh, characteristics, we are able to define a synthetic KQI distinguishing the video quality from uh, the overall health. And when we have any SLA breach, uh, on the digital service on specific camera streams, we are able to initiate some, uh, some SLA triggers. These SLS triggers are sent to the EA service problem manager, allowing to understand what are the different affected entities, such as the broadcasters or specific services, doing some automated root cause analysis as well. And from that, we can trigger some automation scenario in order to automate the root cause analysis process uh, around the degradation that we observed and, if need be, initiate some repair actions towards the service orchestrator on the Ericsson side of things. And here we can see, for example, using the TMF642, we are sending an SLA uh, notifications towards the service orchestrator, which we enrich with some recommendations. Here, for example, we are recommending yeah. to scale down the, the resources on the EMBB slice and scale up the resources on the video broadcast slice. Yeah, good. So, um, so you managed to Once the service orchestrator initiates a whole chain of uh, automated replanning within the network, we can observe the life cycle changes which are occurring in the network and confirm, and confirm if we, in the end, have a positive impact on the overall QoS. Thank you.
Thank you.